Welcome to Blue Oak Nutraceuticals. We're science-based, heart-led. This is a Q&A with Dr. Sandeep Dugar, a drug discovery and development expert and co-founder of Blue Oak Nutraceuticals. Today, Sandeep will answer questions about the fundamentals of mitochondria. What are mitochondria? Mitochondria are part of your cell. They are organelles in your cell that fundamentally are responsible for life and maintenance of your health. Without that life, as we know, the multicellular life would not exist. And mitochondria is what we call in humans and animals, they all have it. And in plants, they're called chloroplast. They have been identified as powerhouses that generate the energy. They do that, but they are also sensors. They respond to cellular stress. They are your front line for defense, for both addressing pathologies, and they are your front line for regenerative medicine. They are responsible for managing the health and well-being of each cell. They are one of the most critical elements in your cell because they provide the energy for cellular function. And they decide when the cells will live, they decide when the cells will die. Why are mitochondria essential to my well-being? One should think of well-being is to address a pathology, is address an insult. So your cell has to respond to that insult. And that insult creates the diseases that we recognize. And to address that is what the mitochondria do. They sense these insults to yourself, whether it's related to a heart attack, whether it's related to a genetic mutation, or it's related to ischemia or cancer. The mitochondria are the ones that then provide the resources because your body has evolved to survive. Survival is inherent in your system. And it's the mitochondria that then come in to provide the resources, the energy, and consequences of their action to provide health and well-being. What is mitochondrial biogenesis? Mitochondrial biogenesis means creation of new mitochondria within the cell, without the cells dividing. When a cell divides, it creates more mitochondria so that the new cell also has mitochondria. But each cell has its own quota of mitochondria. And through various processes, even day-to-day -day living, you use up the mitochondria and they have a certain amount of half-life. And so the cells, as these mitochondria age within your cell, the cells make new mitochondria. And that's mitochondrial biogenesis. And so the cells have an internal mechanism to do mitochondrial biogenesis or making of new mitochondria to provide the sustenance your cell needs. How do mitochondria get damaged or dysfunctional? So the Mitochondria respond to stresses within the system. So one is natural aging. When you lose mitochondria because they have a certain amount of life and then they uh, die and then new mitochondria come in. But when you talk about dysfunction and depletion, it is this added insult that the mitochondria have to deal with. This could be oxidative stress. This could be acidotic stress. Uh, where, when these mitochondria face these external stresses, uh, they can get damaged. Um, and in a way, think about them being overused. How can we increase mitochondria? Very good question. As far as we know, and that is a generally accepted in the scientific community to generate new mitochondria exercise is the only path we know of 
And that is because it creates an energy demand in your system. And mitochondria provide the energy by enhancing metabolism of food you eat. Hence, the body creates more mitochondria to meet the demand of your exercise. Thank you for joining us today. Learn more about Blue Oak Nutraceuticals and Mitocatalyst at www.blueoaknx.com.